Hello hey boys and girls, welcome to Benchart, I'm for Classic, and for today what I do have in it is Fair Cry 6, a game developed by Ubisoft, and it is using uh, its Dunia engine, like uh, it have been happening in the past with other Fair Cry titles. So my objective today is to see how the GT 940MX or the MX130 performs on the Fair Cry 6, and unfortunately we have some issues in here, so to start... Um, the window mode we only have windows or borderless you won't be able to play at full screen at the moment i'm using 720p on windowed mode both settings and i'm using fsr in performance which is the lowest i can go with and the quality looks dreadful all right so, so it won't be really enjoyable regarding quality everything we will can focus but at least according to the performance metrics that I did gather on the benchmark tool, which I have a separate video for that, uh, if I do use 720p with FSR and uh, in performance, uh, what I did got it was a performance above 30 frames per second all the time, although in balance it starts to show off some drops here and there. Now the benchmark tool it is a good repre uh, representative if you want to have an idea how the game will perform, but it doesn't really show you the worst case scenarios and after one hour of gameplay you will see drops below 30 frames per second even with FSR on performance mode which the benchmark tool claimed uh, that I wasn't really having any drops below 30 but uh, some scenes in the regular game will show you off uh, some of those drops all right uh, regarding requirements uh, they clearly specify that you need a 4 gigabytes uh, VRAM GPU and even if you go to the options menu, you, you will see that the bar in there, uh, it is above 2 gigabytes, even for the lowest settings, which means that you need a GPU with, uh, well, 4 gigabytes of VRAM. We don't have, but the game allows us to start anyway. Now, one of the issues that I have with this game is that uh, since you can't go windows or borderless, the frame times are all over the place, everything looks weird. One of the ways to fix that it is to lock the game to 30 frames per second, which is the most stable frame rate that we can get in this GPU. And if you do that, as you can see, the frame time graph it is okay. The image looks stable. It is not jittering all over the place. So it looks smooth, all right? Smooth 30 frames per second, all right? That's what I want to say. But since we are kind of a benchmarking channel, uh, we want to know how much the GPU can handle, so obviously I will disable this lock and the video will be much more jittery and inconsistent, but you will know what frame rate you would get uh, if the game it is not uh, locked to 30 frames per second. So what I have to say is that, as you can see, um, visual quality it is pretty bad like this, so everything is very unfocused. But I'm quite surprised that the game at the low settings, uh, it actually looks good uh, because you can still retain a lot of vegetation, winds, uh, shadows, uh, volumetric lightning going on. So all the stuff is here. So you are not missing out of anything aside from really clarity. So, which is bad anyway. But I, I, what I really want to point out, if there are people in there uh, watching this video with much better GPUs than the MX-130 or the GT-940 MX, but that aren't really that good. Um, if you are able to play the game with higher levels of FSR, like ultra quality or quality, where the game will be, you know, more sharp and less blurry, probably you can enjoy the game at low settings, because low settings, it does look pretty good. One of the differences that I've noticed, for example, between low settings and median, it is a lack of um, screen space reflections and some of the detail. But apart from that, I, I do really think that the whole settings looks pretty good. I, I'm sorry to say this, but it is true. But unfortunately, the fact that we are playing with 720p and with FSR at performance mode, it really destroys the image quality. But it's the only way that you have to play above 30 frames per second most of the time. Because... As you will see in this video, there are some scenes uh, where it starts to drop below 30 and well, you don't want that to happen when you are in big firefights uh, because this is just the beginning of the video, I'm, I'm in the game 
I'm pretty sure that uh, more forward into the game, as soon as you start to get into the more demanding areas and bigger firefights, the game will be more demanding and possibly uh, moments where the frame rate will be lower than 30 frames per second will appear more often than at these beginning areas, all right? So I think that's all that I want to talk about, Far Cry 6 performance. The two wrong didn't read is that you can play it, it will drop below 30 frames per second, and playing with these settings, it is absolutely horrible. Would I recommend it? Absolutely not. I really think that you should enjoy the game in a better PC or a better system, uh, whatever. Uh, just avoid to play like this, because I, I think this game deserves better anyway. Because playing like this is, is really bad. But if you don't have any other way and you are crazy enough to do it, just go ahead because you can finish the game any way like this. All right, it's not going to prevent you from finish up the game. It runs, it doesn't crash, and it is more than less stable. All right, that's it. Now let's talk a little bit about the game. So it's just another Far Cry. Ubisoft created another Far Cry, which what it does change, it is the thematic, the story, despite it's kind of predictable. But it's simply another Far Cry where you'll be bouncing around the map um, and uh, doing side stuff and, you know, it's just like the old Far Cry. Essentially, that's pretty much that. You just need to do side quests, do crafting and go from one place to another. And the formula, it is pretty much the same, barely changes and after kind of one or two hours of gameplay, not to, I, I mean after the prologue though, uh, as soon as you start to get into the gameplay loop of the game, you will see that's exactly Far Cry. Alright, just like all the predecessors, just like Far Cry 5, Far Cry 4, so it's exactly the same game. They didn't kind of took a chance to create something new, no, it's simply more of the same. If you are not tired about this formula, then that's great for you. You can go and buy Far Cry 6 in an heartbeat because I'm pretty sure you will, you will enjoy it. It's still a fun game though, but I mean, for the people that are kind of this repetitive formula and the fact that Far Cry have been kind of the same all these years, it's a little bit disappointing that Ubisoft didn't make too much of a too much changes to make this game something different and something more interesting, all right? But apart from that, it's it's a good game if you are willing to close your eyes to the, the, the fact that the game is more of the same of the, the, pre the predecessors, but that's pretty much that. It's another Far Cry, all right? So guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about Far Cry 6. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. That looks like a Juan. Today we drink in the worst fucking canteen. This won't end well! Get in, get in. Okay, we're good. Get the hell out of here before the whole fucking army shows up. I'm drunk, but I'm not that drunk. Right behind you, old man.
Wapo wants to be your friend. Or maybe he just needs to take a dump.